Hey everybody, it's Michael Fisher with PocketNow.com here at the pop-up studio powered by YouTube here in New York City, the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 launch event for the Americas. I have a Galaxy Note 2 for T-Mobile on the table in front of me right next to my Samsung Galaxy S3. Don't have an international version to compare it with right now, but for now, let's just take a look at the size difference between the Galaxy Note 2 and the Galaxy S3. As you can see, the difference is very familiar because we've covered this device a lot. It is identical because the hardware is identical. This is the same Galaxy Note 2 you are familiar with with very, very, very few differences in operation. Almost no differences physically, except that this device is, of course, powered. Uh, the same Exynos Quad running at 1.6 gigahertz, two gigs of RAM backing that up as well. Not a whole lot of differences there. The S Pen functionality also very similar. You can see the hidden home page comes to view there as we use the uh, as we pull the device out of its silo. Double tap while holding the button brings up the S Note. That clever functionality that I much appreciated on the international version as well. Uh, quick actions has been changed slightly. You'll notice a slightly revised user interface in the quick command window, and we'll just go ahead and draw an exclamation point to get into maps while the music outside picks up. It's a party here. We wish you were here joining us. You can just jump into Maps that way. If we hop back out to the Home menu, hop into Quick Command again, jump into Maps again, we can actually, you'll notice, search for a specific location with handwriting, which is really handy. Not necessarily quite as fast as typing, but certainly an interesting novelty to play with. You can see it's pretty responsive there. Hopping to a different use case, if we go into the gallery application, you can see that if we play a video here, AirPlay is here, and it is as wonderful as ever, that little pop-up window allowing you to see what is on the scrubber when you, uh, without necessarily jumping to that point in the video, which is excellent. And then, of course, when you find the spot you like, just give it a tap, and there's the, the jump happens there. Also here, familiar to uh, any watchers of our previous videos, is pop-up play lets the video continue to play in the background as you take care of other tasks with the device. Nice handy feature there. Just give it a little tap to get rid of it. And not quite as handy though as the pop-up browser functionality. We'll go ahead and hop into contacts here. We couldn't find a Twitter feed, but this is very useful in Twitter. Go ahead and find a contact with, that has a URL in the name. Tap that. You're asked for your preferences as far as uh, which browser you want to use to open it up pop-up browser. We're going to go with always on this one. We'll clear that later. The browser loads the page in the background while you go about your business. Wait for the page to load. It may never load here because there are literally hundreds of people outside that door. Page loads. We read whatever article we're interested in and we can either jump to the full-size browser or we can jump right out. We're going to do that right now. Finally, even though pop-up browser support is here, uh, what is not here, unfortunately, on this American version is multi-screen support. Pressing and holding the back button does not give us access to the dual-screen multitasking. A little unfortunate, uh, kind of unclear at this point whether or not we will get that in the future, but we will have to see going forward. Guys, that's going to wrap it up for us. As you can hear, the music is getting louder outside. The party's getting wilder, so I have business to attend to. This has been a very, very brief tour, the American version of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 coming to every major U.S. carrier almost simultaneously. Once again, this is the T-Mobile version. It's also on Sprint, um, AT&T, Verizon. It needs a little bit more time to paint their Verizon logo on the button. Uh, presumably, we don't know what the, uh, what the holdup is there, but it will come to all four major U.S. carriers in the coming weeks. Uh, keep it locked to pocketnow.com for news and information on that. Follow us on Twitter, Pocketnow Tweets. Follow me on Twitter, Captain Two Phones. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Samsung for hosting us in New York City for the launch event in the pop-up studio powered by YouTube. For Pocketnow, I'm Michael Fisher. Thanks again.